good morning vloggers no they're not vloggers we're vloggers <laughs> <laughs> morning subscribers yeah. but i did wake up at 4 30 this morning you i so am jet lagged last night on the sofa. i fell asleep on the sofa last I night couldn't wake you up. yeah so 4 30 would have been about nine o'clock in india nine o'clock in the morning and in india we'd been getting up at half past five so i'm not surprised i woke up at half past four but i've got six hours that's good which isn't bad it's good, good. And I'm just going to relax all day today. We're just heading off to get coffee together. All week I've just thought I just want to get for coffee in my mark. Which cafe would you most like to go for a coffee at? Wherever I have to walk least. Okay, station. <laughs> station. Yeah. And get some um, pastries and stuff because it's really exciting today. Yeah. It's the first episode of my new show. And Mum and Dad and Dean are going to come over and watch it. And then I can tell them about my trip and da da da. And then when they've gone, I think we should just chill out. Why don't we just watch a movie? I'll cook a roast. You'll cook a roast? Yeah, as long as you, t as long as you tell me how to get your roasties. Will you? Them, I'll do the roast, yeah. Oh my God, I've never had a roast cooked for me. Yeah. You look so slim, Mark. Do I? I've definitely lost weight on this track. I mean, I'm still really overweight, but I've definitely lost weight, so I want to be careful. I'm at the next stage of agony with Joe. Me and him have been texting each other like mad. Is it like being in the land of coffees? And... I drank that coffee in about 30 seconds. It was so nice. Look, and I've gone all round it with a spoon. Oh my God, I missed a coffee. Mm. Mm. Did you like the food out there? We stayed in the most beautiful, fantastic camp where the food was amazing. But I am done with curry for about six months. Don't ask for a curry. I really fancy a korma. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because everyone's husbands was texting going, should we get a curry tonight? Because they were thinking of us being in India and thinking... They were. They were thinking of having their first nice meal since everyone had been away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have got like internal bone exhaustion though. Just like... Proper. Look, it's your day out there. I know. And I'm afraid Christmas has landed whilst you've been away. Thank you. Should we do a first signs of Christmas vlog? Should we do like a vlog, a day vlog? We go and have a look at the first signs of Christmas. Okay. Would you like that, subs? So Nad's got first night fears behind no, us there, no. half an hour before her show's about to go. It's going to be great, babe. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be warm. It's going to be convivial. It's going to be family. Don't forget the producers have been wanting to make this show for years. So you're going to be absolutely fine. And meanwhile, I'm feeding the dogs their own family feast. We're vlogging at the same time, guys. Hey, come on in. Hello. It's happening. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I met the name of the show on the... Um, What's the name of your show? Oh, Nad's Family Feast. Hi guys! Hello! Yeah. No guys, I'm going to go now. Oh, Watch nuts. it, half eleven, half eleven, half eleven. You know how to get to my heart, don't you? <laughs> or get to me I've nuts. I've got my yoghurt, I'm going back to get my yoghurt. Oh. That anyone could ever say to me. What's that? What <laughs> you you faded say? away. You're fading away. Wasted, Yay. wasted away. Wasted away. <sighs> what was the most exciting thing you've just... Huh? Show her! Uh, so, look, look at this one. Yeah, you do it. Um, yeah. Hey! Oh. <laughs> it's listed! Is that amazing? Listed on what? I don't, I'm not understanding. Nadia's family feasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy! What? Uh, uh. But it's the TV guy. Of course it's going to be. Yeah, no, but I know it's <laughs> exciting. Uh. I can see my show's name on the no. TV. That's true. Alive. Your mum knows you're Nadia Sawala off the telly, so there's no news there. I'm alive! Yeah. <laughs> hey. There were certainly points where I didn't think I'd be seeing anyone again. Really? It was that bad. Very. <coughs> very. Oh. I will not be doing anything like that again. Oh. oh. That was my one chance to take life Coffee. right to the edge. I've heard you say that before, though. No, but everything else I've done, I haven't risked my life. Oh, you looking okay, Well, I lost weight at least. Uh, That's okay. You're getting worse. Oh, Hi, Teddy. Yeah. Hello, my Pastries. Love. Would you like a cup of tea? No milk. Yeah, it would be lovely. No milk. No, no milk. milk. Yeah, because that's a Betty. Uh, Betty. Hey. I want lost out. 
<laughs> she's excited. Yeah. So Nadia, how are you feeling? Really, really nervous. Hey, we're all here. Really excited. It's gonna be good. Let's get close up. Nice big fat close up. Sweat. Fear, wrinkles. Oh my god. Flatulence. What if nobody watches here? Of course they will. Come on, how are you feeling, Teddy? A bit nervous? Yeah. Betty, wants us to shut up? I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry. You waiting after this, you're going to be really hungry. Toffee's excited. Welcome to your Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. It's Nadia's family feast. Hey! hey! Oh, that looks good. <laughs> it's not even oh. started. Is that yours? Whoa. Sunday cooking variety, <laughs> sponsored by Waitrose and Palmas. Oh, babe, it's going to be brilliant. I'm Nadia Sawai. Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Not forgetting wife to Mad Mark. And then, of course, there's my dog, the chicken. Growing up, it was a family affair. Uh, With my Arabic oh, father, my and my dog, Nadia. <laughs> Stolen cooking tips. I love to cook and I'm always in my kitchen. And now I'm excited to be finding oh. out about a fabulous family feast people enjoy around the world. Oh! <laughs> Taking inspiration from busy households. Teddy! During the series, I'll be hanging out with some fantastic oh chefs and cooks from they every so. country imaginable as they share the dishes they grew up with and love today. I want to feed everybody. Oh, we want you to have a go at. Oh, nice. Feeling hungry? So hungry. <laughs> Kiki? This, yeah. the, this is like torture. My stomach's eating itself. What did you feel when I mentioned you? Yeah, I, I can't believe you used that photo at the beginning. <laughs> Which <laughs> photo? The the one what four of us? Oh yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, that was a... That's a whole <laughs> that I wasn't happy with that. <laughs> No, How are you feeling, babe? Is it a relief? Yeah, I'm pleased. Yeah? About the video of us dancing. Okay. I'm pleased. I, yeah. I, yeah, I think it's good. It is, it's lovely. Really, yeah, I'm pleased. It's got a really nice vibe Obviously, to Obviously, you can only fit in as much as you can fit in, but I know there's lots of other bits as well. That, oh, that's not gone in, that's not going in, but you've only got so much time. But I, no, I think I'm pleased with it. But the mating is the key. Yeah. The mating yeah. is wonderful. Matey, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and she got warmer and yes. more Italian as time went on. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that, and then the contrast was fantastic. Yeah, no, the warmth is gorgeous. And, and I like the sense that of humor. Don't know her. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because there are, I don't know, subs. We know so many of the chefs these days. Don't we? Mm. Just, you know, we've seen them over and over again. And so loads of the chefs in this series yeah. will be new. Yeah. And I think and that's what I'm excited about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you, yeah. 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 Oh. Hey, well done! Hey! Fantastic! Yeah, I'm going to cook and now I'm going to cook it. Yeah. Now we're bloody starving hey. now, aren't we? Yeah, I'm um, oh, absolutely. Next week. Mm, well done, you. Yeah. I don't know, I think it's Malaysia next week. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. That was really good. Morning. What did you feel loved? Yeah. Do you feel loved? Yeah. You are loved. Yeah, Kiki just said to me it was really good. Do you know what this so might Kiki mean? Do you know what this means? You might become a national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> or as Joe Brand used to call it, a national liability. <laughs> oh, I'm proud of you, baby. You need to just relax and rest. Do you want me to go and get chicken? Do you want a roast? I'm the Himalayan. girls are going to have spaghetti. I'm Himalayan. Hmm. No. Okay, so we've just got back from the shop, or I've just got back from the shop. Mark's making a roast. I'm going to make a roast. Oh, one problem I've seen immediately. You didn't get gravy, you got stuck. Oh, but it says it's for gravies. Okay, well, I'll make the gravy then. Well, I no, just... no, tell, no, 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 no. Just because you've got your own TV show with your name on it, tell me how to make the gravy. It says gravy, soups, risottos and curries. Yeah, but you make the gravy. I'm saying a pre-made gravy, but it's fine. Oh, that's all they had. Okay. That's all they had. Anyway, so she's obviously heard about my oiling of a chicken. So I've got myself a little chicken. I'm going to oil. Um, 
But what I want her top tippage on is how to do her lovely roasties. Tell us about these. What are these? Oh, these were the, um, there's a, what would you call it? It's not an orphanage. Mm, what would you call it? Like a home for, they have a huge problem in India with children that are either trafficked, sex trafficked, runaways, terribly abused, very traumatised. But in India, they don't recognise mental illness in children. This was what this woman, this Indian woman was telling me who runs the, um, the centre. And look at this. The kids make out of old newspaper. Mm. Look at that. The per absolute perfection. Anyway, they make all these things. And she can look after 80 children. That's wow. the maximum she can have. And they have, like, extreme counts. I mean, they're very, very traumatised children. And it's just an amazing place. And I was just saying to Mark, three cappuccinos from Starbucks would feel one, feed one child mm. for a month. Not a day. A month. A month. A month, Mark. You see, that kind of... No, but up. that kind of iniquity makes me think that the world is just going to go to foot. To pop. You, go you to can't, you can't maintain it. Oh, God, Don't. you see what real poverty is. It's just horrendous. Jesus, insurmountable. And then look at this, the bigger bags that they made. Look. They're great. They're well, so well made. And these children have been, you know, often they've been, oh, sex traffic. Can you imagine? Look at this bag, right? It's made from an old rice bag. Everything oh, wow. they make is, recy is, is recycled. Everything is made from rubbish. And they made this little bag from old fabrics that they then re... And what's this one? Oh, look at this one, so sweet. And the girl oh, that I bought them from, oh, her face, Mark, her smile was as big as this. Oh. And I made the mistake, I asked her what had happened to her. Oh, no. And the woman that runs the home, she said, we don't ask. I felt so bad. Oh, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Really beautiful. But, but this is the... Um, where's the... Uh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. She was saying to me, the woman that runs it, oh, she's such a lovely, gentle woman, you know, just, just, oh, just amazing woman. Anyway, oh, this is it, look. So the Calm Mad Char Charitable Society, so they teach them all a craft, a skill. But she said the biggest problem that they have is that the children are so traumatised that they never want to leave the centre. They're too scared to go out into the world. Isn't that just brave? Look at them paying mm. recorders. <laughs> and they're mostly brought there by police because it's just so bad what's going on in the street for them. Oh, God. But anyway, so eight pounds will pay for one child's food for, an eight, for a whole month. So a thousand rupees will pay for their education. So a hundred rupees is a pound. So it's ten pounds. For education and skill training, fifteen hundred fifteen pounds for one month. You know what? I might put this underneath at the bottom of this vlog, and then if anybody wants to make a little donation, yeah, yeah. maybe know. once a month, like just yeah. like what you'd spend on coffee or something. Yeah, yeah. or even just one day's lunch. One okay. day's lunch, do a packed lunch instead and just give them, like anything, you could send them a fiver, they'd be over yeah, the moon. Yeah. We're going to send something to them every month. So it's like a, in a filmmaking frenzy upstairs, listen. Maddie's making another film. She's fired up at the moment, isn't she, with this filmmaking? It's great. So Maddie and Kiki are filming upstairs. You right, baby? Neither should you. You're watching the Kardashians. Yeah. You and Evan. Yeah. Making a cup of tea, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and oil a bird. I'm so glad I'm not climbing a mountain. Oh. I don't like mountains. Yeah, they're quite tall, aren't they? I think we should go away next weekend. I've got a bird to oil. Sorry. Oh no. Oh yeah. Gonna get going. Job interviews, to and from any place that they really need to go to. Yeah. Um, and I didn't feel you needed to see them that again. I just think there's too much of that on the internet. Far too much of that muck knocking about. Do you know what I mean, Maddie? Have you seen those awful videos of middle-aged men 
oiling bird. It's just outrageous. Far too much, far too much. So I thought I'd save you that. Kiki's filming me struggling in the kitchen. <laughs> I think that makes me look even more mobile. So I now have a boiling hot pan of oil for the potatoes. I've just shown you. Can you just film me for a second, Kiki? is because she knows how good my last chicken was and I oiled this one off camera because I wanted to give it a little bit of extra attention around its parsnip's nose. Is that what it's called? The parson's nose. The parson's nose. The parsnip's nose. That's the music they're going to play when I bring my chicken out. So my potatoes are in, my chicken is basted, my bread sizzled, which means my oil was ready for the potatoes, according to Nadia's fabulous instructions. The bird is still upside down. <laughs> it's probably the case all over the country as we speak. Birds upside down everywhere. The broccoli is good to go. The runner beans are running over there in a minute. And over there, I've got some pre-made uh, Yorkshire puds. Take about 12 minutes, I think. But that could be where I come unstuck. I should check. I should check. Anyway, so we're about an hour away from D-Day. Wish me luck, guys. Goji berries are supposed to help with eyesight. I ate a kilo, one and a half kilograms, and my eyesight, I swear, has got worse. Why is that, Maddie? Because had a kilo. Oh. Oh, I see, okay. And then you take five minutes, The uh, those do. Shit. Is toffee. I want to go. And, I want to go and bond with toffs. I'm going to go and bond with toffee. I love toffee. Bond with toffee. I've come to say hello. Hi. Hey. How are you? Hey. What's wrong? What do you think she's saying? You don't want to come and play? Do you want to have a cuddle? Come on. Come on in. was going to give her a kiss. Just wanted to have a little bit of connection time, me and her time, a bit of us time. That's how Toffee, Toffee treats me. She won't be like that when she wants some of my chicken. Anyway, the reason I'm being stupid is Nads is fast asleep on the sofa. The Kardashians have sent her off into a coma.
You haven't just made another film, have you? Yeah. Just like that. What's going on? You like you like uni you like Universal you like Universal Pictures. <laughs> you like Warner Brothers. You know, what, you know what we should call you? Warner Sisters. <laughs> Warner Sisters. I've just been saying a preview of the girls Warner Sisters <laughs> production. Uh, play to the music of who? Run Cries the Crawling by uh, she's called Agnes Obel. Obel. Agnes Obel. Beautiful. Kiki is a fabulous performer. She holds the camera beautifully, dances, moves, performance art. Kiki, Maddie shoots, directs and edits immaculately. I'm just totally chuffed beyond balloon ours. Thank you. Well done, girls. Thank very you. good. Very good. Very good all in an afternoon on a Sunday. OK, so we're now half an hour away from D-Day. In the space of about two and a half hours, I've oiled a bird. Maddie and Kiki have made a film. Nadia has watched two episodes of The Kardashians. And look... Bluffer's Guide to Yorkshire Puds. You pleased with your film, Mads? Yes. Yeah. Yorkshire Puddings. Yeah, Yorkshire Puds. So we've got the chicken in one. I've got your potatoes in the other. Yeah. Fingers crossed the potatoes come out. I'm slightly worried the potatoes aren't going brown enough, but what can we do? I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, will be the judge of the potatoes. A bit nerve-wracking, actually, because she's a heck of a judge of a potato. I mean, she is actually addicted to potatoes. I once caught her trying to shove a new potato up her left nostril. <laughs> It's terrible. It's a terrible situation. You looked really haggard and drawn out and stressed, yeah. weren't you? Yes. I mean, it's what made her love mash, because of course, as soon as you mash the potato, you can just get it in you even quicker. Yes, true. Yeah. So guys, I had to do something really, really bad because I was a bit panic stricken about the potatoes and I wanted to do the perfect roasty. So I had to actually ask Nadia from her deep slumber whether what was happening was right. And she said that really, the potato can be a very temperamental beast. Apparently, so she put them on the hob and she frizzled them around like a good chef knows how to. And suddenly they looked a little bit perkier. I'm just worried that Maddie's going to be such a fierce judge. I want to get it right. This is the problem for me as a cook, you see. I want things perfect. Maddie has just popped in just to show me a quick little, a quick, a quick little lesson in creating a gravy my potatoes are being very temperamental and they're taking ages to brown up. So I've put the veggies on. Okay. So glistening onions, drained juice, girls in the background. What do you do now? So some of the oil off the top. Yeah. Goes back in. Oh, I see the oil. Right. Make the roux to thicken the... Gravy. Okay. Very pernickety. Boom! Potato fritas! There's the chicken. And there's the thingy. And I am so ready. Soaked! And there's the gravy. <laughs> Here we go, happy family. I thought like Mr. Mom. Well done, it's lovely. Well done. Well done. Hey. Thanks, Patrick. Got me well to get done. the. Uh, oh, hang on. Got to get these out. This delicious dish. The Yorkshires. The Yorkshires are coming. Oh, oh look at them. Mm, well done. Your hands. Yummy, hey. my, my dad made the best. There you go. Just get put my gravy on first. Oh, you are a gravy person. I didn't think you were a gravy person. <laughs> no, kids don't matter. Just squeeze it. That's and then what it will I was going to do. Bottom, I know. I fat. know the. Um, How's the chicken coops? Oh, fabulous! So, guys, this is such a brilliant job. We'll put affiliate link actually underneath. And look. Just pour it like that and all the fat stays at the top. Right, the biggest judgment is the potato. Yeah, shall I try one now? Yeah. Watch when I burn my mouth. Careful, Danny, it's very hot potato. Oh, I'll try the chicken, chicken barely feeds a family. <laughs> Our family. <laughs> Toffee. Mm. Good? The chicken is so good. I did oil it within an inch of its life again. It's the oiling, isn't it? Mm. It really is the oiling. Yeah, I mean. Is it good? On the way it's done. You're the most important one. Is it good? Yummy. Yay! 
Thank you. Know, you. See fun. you, lovely. Oh, it burned my mouth, but it hurt oh good. I have a good. Thank you. Yay! Hey. Are they good? Are they all right? Yummy. I mean, I was worried about the potatoes. Any ideas? Okay.